So I wanted to do this like <clears throat> Jeremiah Babe. It's August 14th, 2022. And this video dates back to July 11th, 2022. Now, I wanted to get this video up before I traveled to Cary and before I got back to Florida. Um, and I apologize, it's taken so long. I, I called it the booger video. Because <laughs> I, 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 well, you, well, when you see it, I, I, I think I've figured out, I mean, after all day, I actually got a day, I'm taking Sunday off. I, not working around the house, I'm not doing bills. Um, I mean, I've just been slammed since I got to Florida trying to, well, just yesterday I actually did something normal and kind of washed my car, but my hands don't work real well. But anyway, um, so I wanted to introduce this video because if when you watch the video, you're not gonna understand <laughs> what the hell it's all about because it was a month ago. But anyway, the video starts out with me showing you the stairs that I fell down when I broke my neck and why I'm crippled right now. And of course, you know, I don't go into the two months in the hospital. That's going to be some other videos. And uh, um, and then it goes on from there of uh, at the time I was trying to get catheters and I ended up in the emergency room twice because I couldn't, you know, if you can't drain your bladder, believe me, it's an emergency situation. And um so it just kind of goes on from there. And at that time, I was still staying at my cousin's house. And uh, he's an ornery old 70-something-year-old. And, uh, well, I, I won't say he didn't like me being in his house, but it was a major inconvenience for him. And he was very happy to see me leave. <laughs> I guess I knew it when the bags were lined up by the front door. And he says, you're leaving today, right? <laughs> so, so anyway, but he did put me up for four days. And I appreciate that. So let's um, let's just get into the video. Um, this is uh, this is me departing Lynchburg, um, Virginia. Uh, it, just a quick quick background. I went up. My mom tried to commit suicide. I I was ready to come back to Florida. Um, they said I couldn't come. They put me under court order and said that uh, that would be elder abuse unless I got her twenty four seven care. Now she hadn't had twenty four seven care for two and a half years because uh, my stepdaughter or my stepsister excuse me adopted stepsister had been taking care of her uh somewhat she was, just comes in to clean the house once a week and um so you know i was like well look i just stepped into the situation i'm i got to get back to florida and uh, they said no you can't leave your only surviving relative and um, of course uh, none of the cousins or anybody was there to help and um, and then the story just went on from there but anyway this is the joyous moment or the moments, the days, a couple days, of when I got to leave Virginia. And uh, you'll kind of see my excitement as we come on down. I just wanted to introduce the video. That's what it's all about. All right, let's get going. So this is the beginning of the end of eight months of living hell. Anyway, uh, this is the last of it. I just thought I'd show you this one photo. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that crazy? Back in the uh, back in the day, you know, here they are all sitting on the beach. Uh, that was my dad when he was young. He's the second second from the middle, and this is uh, that's my cousin Terry. But I really always called him Uncle Terry. He was the same age as my father. Won't give you that story. And that's my that's my uncle Bertie. Uh, anyway, I probably shouldn't be naming them in the video because <laughs> I'm a right wing lunatic, right wing lunatic. Uh, anyway, so um, this is where the last of the journey began. Uh, this is called the sunroom. You can see the nice view in the backyard. There's actually a creek right back here. But anyway, uh, I just want to make a brief video because I'm getting ready to meet uh, my um, adopted stepsister. We're going to finalize the paperwork. But anyway, it was 11 o'clock at night. Uh, after burying my mother, well, I hadn't buried, well, yeah, I had buried her because uh, she died on Cinco de Mayo. Uh, well, no, I, I, it was two days before the uh, burial. And I uh, have been watching the Blacklist TV, just sat right here in a corner. And, uh, and this, was, this was the beginning of the last of the journey. <laughs> Someday I would write all this down. So anyway, this is the house. And you can see the new owners there in here. Uh, Terrence, boy, they hate the wallpaper, man. I, 
I, you know, I didn't, I didn't never minded it, but then again, I didn't really live here much since I was 18 years old. But this is what happened. So you can kind of see it was dark and uh, I was coming this way. I uh, don't really remember exactly what happened, but see here, so you have to go through these folding doors and then that takes you up the stairs. And you know what, let me just show you. They got a place a little bit torn up, but uh, by the way, this was all carpeted with peach carpet. <laughs> you know, oh man, I tell you, they are, they're having a heck of a time. This was my old room. And uh, so this is where I was coming to, to go to sleep. By the way, this thing was painted bright green <laughs> when I was a kid back in 1977. Uh, anyway, uh, so this is where I was coming to go lay down and go to sleep and didn't quite make it. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to do, do a last run, hopefully today, through the house. i got to meet my stepsister here. I can't take too long. Plus, I don't want to prolong the video. But anyway, somehow... I came to these stairs and uh, well, you can see there's no right railing and the reason is my mom put a lift in for my dad that he never used, $3,000, be lucky to get a few hundred for it and I'm guessing that rather than going up these stairs, somehow the door was open and I took, you know, you think you're stepping up right here and I stepped down and I'm sure I grabbed for the railing instinctfully because it's always on the right <laughs> but the railing's on the left and man i went right down these stairs i woke up the next day uh laying right here in the floor and i was staring up at that <laughs> going where the hell am i at you know of course i was in tremendous pain uh anyway and uh that's the old pool table and a lot of happy memories in here i just wanted to get this video because the day's going to get away from me. Every day gets away from me. I just, man, I'm, I think I'm heading back to Florida. We're going to start documenting that journey. This is going to be the beginning of the end of the Florida. Get your ass to Florida. Get your ass to Florida. The free state of Florida. After seven months of hell in Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh, anyway, all of these, uh, I'm just leaving all this. You know, this is this is all the stuff they save. Look, gosh. It wasn't it great of the real estate agent to save me two old typewriters, you know. Oh, good, and a tape machine. I really wanted that. Oh, my God. You know, just all the, oh, all these little things. You know, I definitely want to put those as a bachelor now that I'm divorced as of April. I'm going to put these things all on my tables down in front. This is the stuff they saved for me. They threw away my water bottles, uh, anything. My warm water bottle. Well, let's get back upstairs. I just want to show you the stairs. So, anyway, I, the story goes... I'm laying right here, and man, it took me about two, two, two and a half hours. I climbed around right here, because you see the phone outlet right here? There used to be a phone on a table right here. Well, I got to that phone. It took me a long time crawling, because my neck was broken, big time. And uh, and I got I got the phone off, and the phone didn't work. <laughs> there was nothing in this house that worked. Mom was a clock person. There were clocks everywhere, man. I mean, not a single one of them worked in this freaking house while I was here. Uh, so anyway, um, then I had to crawl. Well, I, I had to get to the phone, right? I mean, because I nobody was coming to the house, and I would have laid right here and died of dehydration because uh, it was going to be a week before somebody came in. So I, I crawled up these stairs. Let's just show you what crawling looks like. So I crawl and I get one knee, and then I say, "Oh God, oh God!" I do my breathing exercises, and then I get I get one knee. Oh. And I get that knee up, and I kept my head. See how I'm keeping my head steady? I keep that head down. I said, oh, God. Oh, God. Marine, you ain't going to die like this, Marine. Keep going. And then I take that one hand, and I bring it up one stair. Ain't that hurt? That would hurt. That would hurt. That would hurt. And I pause, and I breathe. I think you got the point. And uh, so let's, uh, let's get... Let's get to the top of the stairs. I got to show the story. So, you know, I'm crawling up these stairs. Each, man, I think it took me about eight hours, I think. So I'm climbing up these stairs, climbing up these stairs, climbing up these stairs. And so finally, you know, you get to the top and you're looking and you're looking and, you, you know, I'm keeping my head down. Because if I turn my head left, turn my head right, hurts like a bastard. Now, I don't know that my neck's broken at this point. I just know that I am foobarred. And that is, I'm going to just say it, fucked up beyond belief. <laughs> so, so I'm on my knees right here on the kitchen floor. 
And I'm thinking, well, maybe, maybe I can use that phone right there. <laughs> well, I did actually kind of try to stand up. Didn't work out. I think the uh, neurosurgeon said if I had tried to stand up again, I wouldn't be here talking to you today. I'd either be dead or paralyzed. Uh, so that phone was obviously out of the question. Now, there used to be some uh, brooms that hung right here. I could have possibly knocked it off. But then, you know, so you crawl. And you crawl. There used to be a kitchen table right here. And you crawl across the floor. And you crawl across the floor. And then you get to right here. And man, I got to go down that step. Oh my God, <laughs> down hurt worse than going up. Oh man, so I'm crawling across here. I'm thinking, oh God, please let my cell phone be where I think it put it. Now, I don't know how many hours has gone by. It's about 13 hours. I'm still crawling along, crawling along. I get to the sofa. But you know, you're down, you're down on your knees. You're right here like this. But the sofa, the sofa's up here, you know. And I'm thinking, God, I can't turn my head. And uh, I said, uh, so I, I tried to get up to see, see if I could see the phone. Anyway, I got up, no phone. I said, God, I'm going to die right here now. And uh, I, just, I just happened to pull on the cover, and there, and there was the black piece of my phone. And I said, oh, my God, there's my phone. I said, but, so then I got the phone. I'm laying right here on the floor. The sofa's, sofa's right here, you know. And uh, I got the phone. I, I was going to call my, uh, my stepsister and everybody. I tell you what, what, rather than sit here and just view, view the last of the stuff that's going out of the house, let's just get a quick view of the backyard and I'll finish the story. So, well, by the way, there used to be, <laughs> used to be an air conditioner right here. And that's how the uh, paramedics got into the room. I thought they were going to bust this door down. But anyway, oh, that's, so that's the story. So I'm laying right here on the floor. And uh, all, all I can do is look, I'm, I'm laying on my side looking at the, uh, I didn't realize at that time my collarbone was broke. I just knew I was in tremendous pain. Of course, I broke a rib too and my neck. So, uh, you know, I'm staring at the sofa, staring at the sofa. And I, I get, I, you know, I finally got the phone. Boy, I tell you, getting, getting the phone off of the sofa was a gosh dang nightmare. And, uh, and so I, I went to dial my stepsister and my real estate agent for them to unlock this door so that the paramedics could get in here. Cause I didn't want them busting the door in because you know we're trying to sell the house. I didn't know my neck was broke. I thought you know I'd be in the hospital maybe a week or two and come back home. Didn't know I'd be two freaking months. Oh my god. I mean, but by the way, me climbing those stairs is a miracle. Um, so anyway, it's the phone I cut it on, it says no signal. <laughs> it's a no signal. It's a dead zone. It, the only the only service that works at this freaking house is Verizon. And uh, anyway, so the paramedics came and grabbed. And by the way, they, the one thing they did that was fantastic was they said, get the cell phone. I heard them saying, get the cell phone. Like I said, I wish, if they got in a previous video, if they got in the charger, that sure would have been nice. All right, so this is the first part of the video. I had to tell that story because I'm, I'm here. This is probably the last time I'll see this house ever <laughs> you know <laughs> so so anyway I, I, there used to be a stump right there i played whack-a-mole on that thing for months there's still a little remnants of a stump over here and i filled in well you can't really tell i filled all this in with grass seed and uh, moved a bunch of dirt around because i was trying to level it for the next homeowners and by the way they got a lot of kids and so it'll be a happy house you know i planted all of this stuff right here now the one last thing i want to show you and then i got to get to the bank <laughs> And I have a feeling that reason why I wanted to get this video by myself is because my, uh, I'm sure my stepsister's going to be coming back with me because she's going to want to see what's left in the house. And so I, there used to be a big tree right there and that shaded the front of the house. Look at the sun. See how the sun's beating on that house? Now, if this was a, a, a 90 degree day, which it gets to be, or, you know, 90 to 100, it just bakes the front of that house. And so that big tree that used to be right here would shade the front of the house and so I planted this tree and that someday will be a big tree and if I do ever come back to Lynchburg which I'm sure I will someday I'll drive by this property and just look at my tree so you might want to do that before you move out of your parents house you know once they're dead assuming they uh you don't you survive them <laughs> I mean, the fact that I'm alive is a freaking miracle 
All right, man, that's it. We'll, I gotta get to the bank. Bye-bye. We'll get on the next clip here in a bit. Whew. So, went to the bank. They were missing three people. We got nothing done there. Even though we had an appointment. Won't give you the name, don't want to slander them. But that's typical. And then, uh, so uh, there was, uh, came back here to the shirt. I was gonna load up a truck. And I uh, had a place of possible storage, but then they said that was only temporary. So that didn't work out, uh, even though I my, uh, threw a couple more pictures in the car, took the frames off and, well, ended up breaking the frames. Uh, anyway, so then uh, I took a suit that somebody gave me. They've been, they were real sweet and sending me text messages, wishing me well while I was in the hospital. So I felt like I, they gave me the suit to wear at the funeral because I didn't have a suit when I got here. And that was seven months ago. So then uh, I'm just talking about today. I mean, I just want to just give you one day in my life. So then um, I, you know, I opened up the catheters yesterday and uh, it was those Valpros and I don't know why, but they got that liter bag and they're pre-lubricated and uh, $1,000, $1,000 for 30 of them. And when you cath every four hours, you figure four into 30, that don't last you very long. And so, plus I wasn't gonna pay it because I gotta pay 20% of that. So I called them up and I said, how can I ship these back? And uh, they said, well, you know, we'll, we'll send you an email and you just print the email and, uh, and, uh, and then put the, of course, go to the post office and they'll tape the, uh, the barcode on there for me. And uh, of course, I'm in Lynchburg, Virginia, and uh, we're in the 19th century here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Nobody has Wi-Fi uh, that, that I deal with. Uh, nobody has a printer. Um, so uh, I'm heading out to the library uh, to see if I can, uh, you know, get on the Internet and uh, basically I get the barcode up. And I uh, try to print it. By the way, I asked them to send me the email like three times because sometimes it goes to spam and it's hard to find. Uh, anyway, uh, by the way, that, so I'm here at my mom's house. I just uh, just cast with the ones. By the way, uh, these only cost uh, 99 cents. Uh, you just run that uh, that clear tube right down the hall and uh, it works pretty good. Uh, then, then, you know, for 99 cents, uh, I can afford that a buck a piece. Um, anyway, so now I'm heading out to the library and then from there to the post office and I uh, uh, my uh, 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 my uh, uh, stepsister, she's got us an appointment with the lawyer at uh, 4.30. Um, but uh, the real estate agent, my um, stepsister, had agreed to allow them to start renovations early. I met with the other real estate agent, and uh, they said they could push back the closing uh, by another week or two because uh, the lender's not going to want to lend the money when the house is all tore up. They're going to have to wait till the renovations are complete. So uh, that's a lesson. I thought the real estate agent would know that. I was just shocked that they were tearing up the house. But then again, I'm not involved. I'm no longer executor. I had to sign over executorship when I was in the hospital because I was in the hospital, laying in a bed, staring at the ceiling <laughs> 24 hours a day, uh, just trying to live. And uh, I am going to live. You know, that's the good news. So catheter's in the trash, and I'm heading out to the library. Just wanted to document another day. And I'm going to tack this on to the falling down the steps because this just gets more and more entertaining. Uh, and of course, my cousin, uh, he's, he wants me out of his house as quick as possible. And he's pressuring me, you know, when are you going to get done? When are you getting out of here? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm moving as fast as I can, trying to get everything done. He's, I think I got one more night at his house, and then I got to work on a hotel room. But that's hard to do without the Internet. Now, I could use the phone. Um, but I tell you, for me, being an old fart, it's a lot more difficult using the phone to handle the internet. I'm a lot better on a laptop where I can sit down and just kind of click on some browsers and go multiple windows and, you know, call different numbers. Plus, I'm trying to find a cheap place to stay. All I need is a bed and a bathroom, you know. Don't want to pay $150 a night for a hotel room because my cousin won't put me up at his house. And of course, I don't really know anybody else. Well, all my, most of my relatives, uh, I'm, I'm estranged from. Let's just put it that way. I don't want to say any bad things about them. I don't need any slander, but uh, you don't know who my relatives are. Anyway, that's how the day's going, man. Peace out. Stay free. Someday, someday, I'll see the free state of Florida. By the way, we're making a video on that. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to get the sign leaving Virginia. I don't know. I might just go state by state as I, you know, pass signs. It's going to take me a long time to get there. I'm just wearing this. I don't have to wear it. You know, so don't think that I, you know, wearing this when I drive. It's just my neck gets tired because the muscles, you know, what happens is, you know, when you break your neck, the muscles atrophy. 
And so the tendency is your head's kind of heavy. You ever watch them people that they walk bent over and their head's looking down at the ground? That's because something healed incorrectly. And so I got to keep this neck upright. And I do, but eventually it gets tired over the course of the day. If I'm, And then so I just put the neck brace on just to help out a little bit. All right, that's it. Stay free. I'm sure there'll be something to add to this video. We'll see what happens. So I'm just trying to document this. Boy, I tell you, I'm getting frustrated with the phone. Every time I go to Super Study, it wants to go to point six. Anyway, it's kind of funny. Here I'm at the Lynchburg Library. Uh, I don't remember when they actually moved it out here. It's Pittman Plaza. My school is just down the street, and we used to go to this uh, McDonald's right there uh, to eat because we didn't like the uh, cafeteria food at the school. So I'm just going into the library at this point to make sure the lay of the land see if I actually can get in here with a laptop, can get connected to the internet, and can print off one sheet of paper. Now we are living in the 1900s here in Lynchburg, Virginia, so let's just see what they say and then of course I'll grab my laptop and a mouse because I'm still old fashioned. I can't use that daggone trackpad plus my, my fingers are all numb from breaking my neck. So let's see what happens here. Alright, I'm going to be shocked if I can actually get on the internet and print a sheet of paper. Let's see. So good news, they got, uh, they actually have Wi-Fi. It's an open network. So I'm not living in the dark ages here. And uh, well, to use my laptop, it's a bit more difficult because you know now you got to get connected to the printer. And they said they'd help me with that. Um, gosh dang, my, my, my collarbone is killing me. I can't wait to see if I have the results to whether my collarbone's broken again or not. But anyway, so um, we'll get those soon. And uh, and I'm also getting wobbly. I, I worked too hard yesterday trying to pack up to get to Florida. Uh, so this day's shot. I mean, look at this. I mean, all I'm trying to do is send back a bunch of catheters that I didn't want. They cost $1,000 for 30 instead of ordering me the 99 cent catheters uh, where my copay. And, and once I get to the VA, you know, there's no cop. Well, I shouldn't say no copay. It's, it's a lot less. Let's just put it that way. All right, man. Well, let's get in here and get it done. And that'll be the end of the library story. So the next story, we'll be getting to the post office to tape the, um, the thing to the uh, box and then get it in the mail. But look, whole day shot again. And my cousin's kicking me out tomorrow because uh, he just can't stand me being at his house. It's uh, He's a bit old and ornery, you know, and uh, the fact that he put me up this long is a good thing. Uh, it just, it's just kind of it's a tough household, you know, these old people, they get kind of ornery. And so I got to be real careful what I say. No cussing, no politics. Uh, you know, that's hard for me. <laughs> so, and then I got to stay the hell out of the way. All right, man, let's get in here. Well, okay. So they had a printer. We had to add it. And I got the page printed. So now I'm heading across town to get to the UPS store. <laughs> I mean, it's a... Anyway, there's, a, there's not many UPS stores here in Lynchburg, but I know where the one is that they were talking about, so I'm going there. And uh, why I had to print a label, I mean, UPS, you can just do a smart code, but whatever. All right, so we're hitting there. 15 cents, by the way, with inflation. Used to be 10, but 15 ain't too bad. All right, and uh, got some other things going on, like I'm trying to deposit a check remotely, and uh, I almost lost it. So it's for a good amount of money, so I gotta get that done too. Peace out. So I did go to point six. Maybe the phone knows more than I do. Should make my face look further away. So anyway, we're done at the uh, UPS store. Don't want to get the sign in the uh, thing here. And everybody goes right next to Starbucks. Everybody knows where Starbucks is, but they don't know where the anything else. But anyway, so the catheter, the thousand dollar catheters are in the mail back to the uh, whatever pharmacist out of Ohio or Cincinnati or wherever. And I. Uh, the uh, 99 cent uh, for um, 52, so $52 catheters are on the way. So that's a thousand for 30 catheters or uh, $52 for um, 52 catheters. Hmm, I guess you do the math. Bye bye. Ultra HD 0.6 with 30, uh, the shutter at 30. Um, well, actually, I should probably be going 60 because <laughs> I'm outside and it's bright light. Oh well, never mind. Uh, so I'm here at the lawyer's office and uh, you know, I just got to talking to the guys where I just run off at the mail. Must be that Gavapenton. 
I tell you what, it, uh, it keeps me pretty jovial. Uh, when, but anyway, I was about to pass out after the UPS store, and I thought, you know what, let's just go to the lawyer's office. I got to charge the battery on the laptop. My cousin's house where I'm staying, and I got to stay there one more night, I think, I hope. Uh, if he throws me out, I got to find a hotel room and then uh, and grab all my medical supplies. But anyway, uh, we'll work on that at the time. Um, so anyway, I'm just charging up the batteries, and uh, I'll see the lawyer here in a bit, and uh, we'll figure out it, because uh, they let people in the house, and they're tearing off the wallpaper, and now they're saying the closing needs to get moved out, and there's all kinds of crazy shit going on. Um, but anyway, I made it here. I'm just going to chill out, uh, get on the internet, and uh, that's it, and then sign some, hopefully, be done. Anyway, I realized on the video I didn't give you the the lowdown. I mean, the reason that I'm charging the computer in other places is because my cousin hates computers. <laughs> so I don't want to I don't want to bring the laptop into his house and create a, uh, a situation because that's what I did uh, in, when they didn't know the Wi-Fi. So anyway, uh, that's what where we're at, and hopefully that'll be it. All right, let's get this on video. Hopefully, I won't get killed here. This is it! This is me leaving Lynchburg, Virginia! Hell yeah! Woo! Let's get the sign! Let's get the sign! There it is! Adios! Lynchburg, Virginia! You ain't putting me under court order no more! You ain't arresting me no more! Yee-hoo! Well, I thought I'd add this to the video. Check this out, man. This is at my neighbor's house. I'm just saying goodbye. Uh, but look at the deer, man. I'm gonna see how close I can get. Hello, how are you? Just kind of sitting there looking at me. Boy, I wonder if I could pet this deer. Wouldn't that be cool? Of course, I, man, I tell you what, I hope he don't kick me. Let's get up close. Oh, oh, there you go. I don't want to scare him. All right, well, nice seeing you. You have a good day. I'm gonna leave him alone. All right. I almost missed it. I almost missed it. Welcome to North Carolina State Line, Caswell County. And over here, you don't wanna go, Purple Virginia, Purple Virginia, uh, Woke Charlottesville. Welcome to, uh, you know, Mass Country. Anyway, this is it. I'm hearing that song. Hallelujah. 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 Twelve, no, seven months in Virginia and a broken neck with my mom cussing at me every day every single every single day all right that's it i just had to get that on the video the next stop well carry north carolina and then i'm word to the free state of florida Woohoo!